Hello everybody, welcome back. And yet another exciting episode. So I have an idea of who I want to play. I have a couple ideas of who I want to play. However, I'm not sure exactly how well one of those characters is going to go. So I tried out some, you know, some Coom gameplay earlier. But the character I wanted, just, just to see if like how hard they would actually be before I started. I've done a little bit of Faust a while back too. I didn't record it, but I tried him out on... My own, and it was kind of the same concept where, let me turn it up just a bit, where um, I felt like even that was still kind of like uh, a little too rough around the edges. But we could try Venom and see where that goes. If it, well, actually, you know, if anything, we could just yeah, I'll just snug out Coom, I guess, just because. Yeah, since I've already done her anyway, I mean, I might as well just try. Uh, Trying to think of like a particular color I would like. Technically, it doesn't really matter, but... I the fire on that one. That looks nice. The other one looks good, too. I kind of like the fire one. That looks... That one kind of looks neat. But anyway, so... At least I think I'm pronouncing it correct. Coom, right? Um, this character is what I would say... Not... Too... Difficult... In terms of, like, just main stuff, because, again, I don't really main these characters. So it's more so just me playing them and trying them out and having, you know, just trying to win, trying to have fun. Um, I couldn't exactly see directly, but it looked like they had the kanji for gold on the little strap right there. At least that's what I think that is. Something cough, and then I don't know what that last kanji is. But anyway, um, this character has, like, a lot of... Not really charge moves, but moves that can be held. So I guess you could say increase moves. As in, you know, things like um, Eunice would have. But one move that I found particularly really good is... And I know it's kind of cheating playing the character beforehand, but I kind of just want to test it out. And see, I kind of now just want to test out and see, you know, like which characters would be something extremely difficult to do. And plus, you know, there were times where I did try recording... You know, those characters, so like Jam, for example, is definitely one of them. Where I tried recording Jam a while back, and then that ended up kind of getting screwy because Jam became a little too hard to uh, beat at the time. So, yeah. But anyway, a lot of these moves, like this down back and, you know, the Z-Motion uh, kick can be held. And then you could use that to kind of just wall bounce. And as you can see, I'm just not really the best at this, but still... Something to be kind of careful of, especially with the AI, is if you happen to get knocked into the air, chances are you'll probably get, you know, um, comboed eventually. That's how I feel. So in terms of other moves, I don't really know exactly off the top of my head, like, other particular moves. I know this one can be held, like, increase, and then you could just... If you hold it down... Well, I mean, all of them pretty much can. But if you hold it down, then... Uh, sorry, I'm just kind of bugging out here if you do hold it down you got a really nice like good like full screen chase thing going on here and alongside that shit i want to burst that not sure what that that slam or not slam move but that down moving area so that's not going to reach that's the down down um heavy slash move that one okay i don't know why i thought that would work in the first place. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is, of course, Heavy Slash. But one thing um, that you'll notice is this Fireball technique, which is really, really good for just kind of setting up, like, a lot of pressure on your opponents. God damn. I, I'm, yeah. But one thing I've noticed about Coom that made it kind of, made me want to play them, uh, mainly for a video, is because of just, they're kind of cool, you know, not going to lie, they're kind of cool. Um, that's pretty much about it. They got, like, a, a lot of, like, really neat, you know, heavy-hitting moves. And, honestly, I feel like I do better against heavy-hitting characters. Not even just, like, playing-wise, but just AI-wise. I feel like I tend to do better against something like that, an opponent that just is a bit more predictable. Because, like, I feel like when I was fighting Jam, and even Eno to an extent, because I, I actually did a video on Eno as well, although, of course, that video never got to light because... You know, I didn't beat Eno at the time, and I'm still kind of working on trying to do that, of course. So that's kind of the uh, 
the sitch right now. Anyway, I don't know if I explained this before, but yes, Hellfire uh, in should increase damage on your your supers. I just was stupid and didn't really know that uh, much. <laughs> but anyway, we got a win, so I will take it. And it's just nice to have a character where you can kind of come back, or not really just come back to, but just more so a character that I can just play that will allow me to at least win sometimes, you know, so that way uh, I don't feel like I'm, I'm stuck in this whole, you know, oh, you can't, like he hasn't uploaded, you know, this series in a while, he must be struggling against everybody, and it's like, yes, I am, kind of, yeah, but at the same time, yeah, it's nice to have a character that, you know, I can just sort of not really exactly struggle with. So like Pot, you know, was a pretty good example of somebody that really wasn't much, too much of a struggle. And quite fun, of course, because, you know, Potemkin's always fun to play. That's just the nature of that. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to make that into a, a big... Because, like, down for down for slash is big ball of blue, but I don't know how to make red. Or not even just red, but, you know, the other one big ball as well. And that was a pretty nice combo there, which I'm sure someone's going to say, no, not really. But, you know, that's the nature of fighting games. It'll never be good enough in no one's eyes. So just be good enough in your own eyes. You know what I mean? Just play because you want to play. Play because you want to have fun. Fuck all the rest. Who cares? I say that, but then I'm not going to take my own <laughs> advice for anything. Okay, you know, I could try maybe seeing if there's like some... But then, I thought that was the one that actually chases toward him. Okay, ow, that hurt a lot. Mm. Also, you can do this and you can do that in air, which is actually pretty damn effective. I didn't realize how good that was. Yeah, Kuma is actually really, really good. It's kind of, I, I, again, I'm pronouncing her name based on the fact of what her name is, or what I would assume it's pronounced in Japanese. Because like a lot of the time, a lot of these games, you know, they have like, uh, and I don't know how it always works. To be fair, oh, there's two. But so Potemkin, I think, has like a completely different name, most likely in Japanese. I'm not sure. But then on top of that. You have, like, Ladiva from Grand Blue, and it's like, the narrator will say, like, Vastiva, and it's like, I don't, I don't play Grand Blue, I don't really know enough about Grand Blue to know about that stuff, so I, I'm just, I'm just telling you guys, like, you know, they, they tend to have, like, different names, and then judging by the way it's spelled here, I would assume the Japanese way would be Kum, uh, you know, or whatever. If it's wrong, it's wrong, you know, somebody might point it out or whatever, but who knows. Also, my TV looks like it's a lot darker on my side versus like my actual computer uh, Elgato itself but anyway that's that's another one down so I might as well just upload that one uh, I'm now recording this on Tuesday but you guys will see this on probably Wednesday or Thursday I might save it for later just in case of anything else I'm planning on uploading uh, around that time but either way that was fun I like me some guilty gear every once in a while and uh, yeah see you guys in the next one so take care everybody